Hey everyone, it's Steph with Chinese Garden, and today I have been on an adventure of shopping for equipment to build a new grow light. So the time has come, I'm running out of grow light space and I need to build another one. We built one last year, I'll link that video down below, but it's a little small for me and there's a couple things I would change. So I'm upgrading in my homemade grow light system. So I'll take you outside in a second. It's just cold out there right now to show you what I bought and I'll lay everything out in the basement where I'm gonna try to start to build it. She is stuffed to the max. I ended up going to Costco first and I found a huge, huge storage rack. That's what that is. Then I went to Home Depot for the shop lights and I found a storage rack that I think I like a little better which is that and is a little smaller. So I'm gonna show you the differences anyways, so you can see and then you can decide what might work better for you. But let me unload or try to unload at least one of these. I've gotta do it by myself and get everything spread out in the basement. This is where the entertainment begins, folks. My husband had two emergency back surgeries in January, so no heavy lifting for him. So I will be the one to do the heavy lifting today. Nice and slowly. These things are heavy, and I recommend having a partner to help you bring them in and even go shopping. I think this might work. Okay, this is the one from Costco, which is huge. Muscle Rack Pro Series 4 level. I believe it's 77 inches wide. Yep, it is heavy. So I am not going to move this by myself, and I think this is the one I'm returning. But letting you know, this is an option. It's a beast. When you go shopping for this stuff, I would take someone with you. I had to have a lot of store associates help me. So keep that in mind and for unloading too. Okay, I'm gonna get these shop lights in and then we'll be ready to go over everything and start building. this at home alone. Okay, now that we're down in the basement, let me show you the one we built last year. This is it here. And the problem I have with this is A, the length. So these are 72 cell trays and they're sticking off on both ends. So I don't love that. I also don't love having to move each of these lights individually. They're not connected. So that's the main thing I'm changing. This still works. It absolutely works. And this was probably 200 I believe it was, is around $200 we spent to build this. But I want it to be bigger because I'm starting more seedlings and I don't love the hassle of moving each of these up and down. It's not a huge deal, but it's a big enough deal where I want things to be as quick and efficient as possible. So that's what I'm changing on this new one. And this is the one I think I'm going to go with, the Husky 48 inches wide, 24 inches deep, and 78 inches Hi. It was on sale for $169. So everything I got that I'm gonna end up using today from here, Home Depot, the total is $518.21. Compared to that Costco rack, which was $240, I'm saving $70 by going with this one that's in red. Moving on in our supply list, an industrial shop light. I got the commercial electric one that has four lights on one panel. And that's because those single lights that I was saying on the old one we built last year, I just don't like having to individually move each light. So these dimensions, 47.2 inches long, are going to match a lot better with the 48 inches wide here, it'll be a perfect fit. Compared to the one that's 77 inches long, that big boy, I would have negative space if I'm only using one of those lights per shelf. And that defeats the purpose because I want all of the seedlings to get an abundant amount of light. So with those dimensions, I think it's just going to be a better fit. Okay, here are the stats on these lights. 7,000 lumens, which is the light output, and the light appearance is at 4,000K. And I know that to develop roots and seedlings, it's important they have some blue light. On this end toward the red is more for fruiting or flowering. So I'm fine with this right here. I am no expert on how many lumens or how many 
Kelvin's your light has to be. I know I think it's at least 3000 K your light needs to be for seedlings to be able to thrive under there. But I know you don't have to have a super fancy light. LED is optimal. But besides that, you've got a pretty wide range of what you can use for your grow lights. So as I said, I've got four of those shop lights one for each shelf there. And then we've got chain. And then my S binders, I am going with the ones that I can clip because when the old one, we used regular S hooks and they're a little more challenging to move. So I'm going to try these and see if it's easier to work with. And there's eight of those. As I said, with everything, it, it comes to $518.21. That's with all the supplies and taxes, etc. So no, it's not cheap by any means, but if I were to get one from Gardener Supply or a really nice one like I invested in upstairs, which I do love, they're a thousand dollars if you go with the LED styles. So it, you know, I'm still saving like 400 bucks pretty much, 500, a little less than 500. So it just depends what your budget is, what you're looking for. Like I said, if you want one that's more affordable, the old one, I'll link that video down below, something like that would work. But this is what I'm looking for right now. So this is what I'm going to show you today is this build. Okay, I'm gonna start to build this on my own. We'll see how it goes. When my husband gets home, I'm sure he'll help, or I hope. And let's do this. Instructions, important. Okay, I've double checked and we've got all the parts here. These instructions seem to be nice. They recommend using a rubber mallet. And if you want to support this against the wall to anchor it in, anchors. So I'm gonna find a rubber mallet and we might do the anchors because we've got a toddler and we'll get to building. Full disclosure, I am not exactly handy but overall this was pretty easy to put together besides the part that i get frustrated and hooked up on that you'll see in a second take note it's easier to build this on a flat surface rather than carpet because i could not get these circles to stay down in the grooves as they were supposed to ah! so if you do end up going with this storage unit make sure that you're putting these into these two and not trying to put them into these two. I made that mistake before my lovely husband corrected me. The last step to finish the bottom rack is to use the contraption they include to keep the shelf in place. First shelf is done. Now we keep going. We count the holes up to see where the second shelf should land and make sure that it's even. It's important that they're all the same. Now we play tug of war with the box and add the next metal shelf and continue to read the directions to finish the whole unit. Okay, we've got the storage shelf built. Once we got going and once I had AJ's help, it was a lot better. Super happy with that part. Now we have to put the lights on. So this actually comes with equipment. So I guess I didn't need the black chain, but we just hook it on there. And then at the end is what's called an S-biner. S-biner. And now she's ready to hang. And for now, I'm just hooking it on the second chain here. So they're all the way up at the top, hanging it halfway in between the shelf. Now that we're hanging the lights up, we've realized that these specific lights can be linkable, which is great. So in order to do that, we have to have the outlets going every other. So if this outlet is here, it'll link and plug in to the outlet down here. So I'm gonna zip tie some of these extra cords and get these all linked up. All right, we've got them all linked together. We've pulled this little on pulley so that all of them are set to on. So now when I power on the power strip, they should all turn on together. Let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Success! So nice to be able to turn all of them on at once or all of them off at once. I love it. And then of course, if I don't need all of them on, I can just turn specific ones off. 
she's done. Here's a look at the finished product. So much more space. You can definitely see the difference with the old one. Things are very crowded. Gets the job done, but I'm glad to have an upgrade. Okay, we're all buttoned up over here and I've moved the seedlings that I do have germinating right now over to here and just look how much more space there is compared to the old one. I'm super excited about it. Plus, these heat mats that are 48 inches by 20.75 fit perfectly on this. So I'll go ahead and get three more. So I've got one for each rack, which will be nice. And then on the side, just having one light, there's so many less cords. It looks tidier, which is pleasing to the eye. A little less crazy than this. So that will do it. So my total for this came out to $503, $503. Again, for this much larger system, because I didn't use the chain, it's not 518 that was about 15 bucks worth that black chain so that's what this cost me but i think it's going to be well worth it for several years so please comment below and let me know what your seed starting setup is like if you have a bigger system if you have a smaller system etc i'd love to hear subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet to follow along here with all things garden thanks for watching i hope it was helpful give it a like if it was and we'll see you in the next one bye